Hello everyone. I am so glad that you're here to join Miss Adila today. We, as you can see, I have a little Tigger over here. Little cat. His name is Tigger. Come over here, Tigger. He actually likes this carpet. <laughs> you can stay here, sweetie. Yeah, you can stay here. Yeah, he's purring. He's like, I love this. Yes. Okay, this is Tigger. So we are going to be reading a book about the mitten. And Tigger is going to be listening to it too. Hopefully. Yeah, Tigger? <laughs> okay, it is retold by Jim Islesworth and illustrated by Barbara McClintock. I think, <laughs> Mc, <laughs> I don't know, McClintock. I believe. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and start this book. Okay, the mitten. All uh, right, once upon a time, there was a happy little boy who loved to play. Yes, he did. Here is the boy. In the spring, he loved to climb trees and peek in a baby's baby birds look at them he's up on a tree right there and he's looking at the baby bird in the summer he loved to chase the golden butterflies and there he is chasing the butterflies in the autumn he loved to play in piles of golden leaves look at him jumping in the leaves do you like jumping in the leaves? Yeah, Miss Anila does too. And in the winter, he loved to play in the white, white snow. Look, what is he making? Do you know what it is? It's a snowman. He's making a snowman. Do you love to play in the snow? Yeah, you do. I love to play in the snow too. And I love making snowmen with my kids. All right. And every winter, because she loved him, the little boy's grandmother would knit a great warm woolen hat that he could pull down over his little ears. Look, there is his little hat. A long, warm woolen scarf that he could wrap two times around his little neck. And there's the scarf. And a pair of warm woolen mittens for his little hands. And on the cold, cold day of this story, the little boy dressed himself warmly in his hat and his scarf and his mittens and he went outside to play. Look, he's wearing the scarf. This is the scarf right here. He's wearing his hat and he's wearing his mittens. All right. He played, look, what's he doing? He's throwing the snowball, yes. And he played, oh, what's he doing over here? He's making a snow angel. And he played. Oh, look, he's going down the sled. Isn't that fantastic? I love to go sledding. What about you all? Do you like sledding? Yes. And, and I also make snow angels too. Do you make snow angels? Ah, you do, beautiful. Okay. But when at last he came inside, it was discovered that one of his mittens was lost. Oh, no, said the little boy. Look, he's wearing only one mitten, and the other hand has no mitten at all. Don't worry, said the grandmother. We'll find it tomorrow. You had enough of the cold for one day. And because she loved him, she made him a mug of steaming hot chocolate. Look, there's the hot chocolate and the steam is coming out. Do you drink hot chocolate when it's cold? 
Yeah, it's good. Oh, Miss Anila loves hot chocolate too. It's it really keeps you warm. In the meantime, just while the little boy was sipping his hot chocolate, a squirrel came along and saw the lost mitten lying on the snow. Look, there's the little squirrel. And there's the mitten. Brrrr, said the squirrel. My toes are cold as ice. This mitten looks so cozy and warm toes would be would feel so nice. Well, she's looking inside. So the squirrel crawled into the little boy's mitten to warm his toes. Oh, look, there's the squirrel going in. The squirrel found the mitten quite warm and very uh, comfortable. And soon he was so nice and toasty in there that he felt sound asleep. Oh, he's sleeping. But just then, along came a... What is this that I'm pointing to? It's a rabbit. Along came a rabbit. Brrrr, said the rabbit. Let me come in. No room, said the squirrel. Go away! Please, begged the rabbit. My toes are cold as ice. Look, he's showing his toes. Your mitten looks so cozy and warm toes would feel so nice. Oh, okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. And the rabbit crawled in. Look, there's the little squirrel. And here's the rabbit going into the mitten. It was a bit tight in there for two. Nevertheless, with the little budging over, they were able to manage. Look, he's trying to squeeze in there. Trying to get in there. Uh-oh, look. What's he doing with the squirrel? Let's find out what he's doing. And very soon, they were nice and toasty warm. And they fell sound asleep. Look, they're both are sleeping. But then, oh, but just then, along came a fox. Look, there he is. He's right there. Brrrr, said the fox. Let me come in. No room, said the rabbit. No room, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, begged the fox. My toes are cold as ice. Look at his toes. Your mitten looks so cozy and warm toes would feel so nice. Oh, okay, said the rabbit. Oh, okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. And the fox squeezed in. Look, there he is. He's squeezing in. He's squeezing more in. It was really crowded in there. Now with three. Look, he's still trying to squeeze in. Nevertheless, the mitten stretched out enough. And soon they were nice and toasty warm. There's the fox. There's the rabbit right there. And here's the little squirrel. But just when they had fallen sound asleep, along came a, what is this? It's a bear. Yes, it is. Brrrr, said the bear. Let me come in. Do you think the bear will fit in this mitten? Let's find out. No room, said the fox. 
No room, said the rabbit. No room, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, begged the bear. My toes are cold as ice. Your mitten looks so cozy, and warm toes would feel so nice. Oh, okay, said the fox. Oh, okay, said the rabbit. Oh, okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. The bear squeezed and pushed. Can he make it? And squeezed and pushed. And squeezed and pushed until at last, look, there's the big bear trying to come in. Here's the fox, here's the squirrel, and here's the little rabbit. Oh, look, he fit. He's in the mitten. He got himself in. It was very cramped in there with the four of them all squished together like that. Still, they were nice and toasty warm, and soon they all fell sound asleep. Look, here they are. Oh, look, who's coming over here? Do you know who that is? It's a little mouse. Yes. Let's see if there's room for the little mouse in there. Brrrr, said the little mouse in a teeny tiny voice. Let me come in. No room, said the bear. No room, said the fox. No room, said the rabbit. No room, said the squirrel. Go away, please, begged the little mouse. My toes are cold as ice. Your mitten looks so cozy. And warm toes would feel so nice. We can't, said the bear. We too full, said the fox. No way, said the rabbit. Impossible, said the squirrel. Go away. Please, said the little mouse. I'm just a little mouse. Oh, okay, said the bear. Oh, okay, said the fox. Oh, okay, said the rabbit. Oh, okay, said the squirrel. You can come in. And they all held their breath while the little mouse carefully squeezed into a teensy tiny spot. Look, is he going to be going in there? There's the little mouse right there. And for a minute, all was well, until suddenly the bear and the fox and the rabbit and the squirrel and all had to take a great big deep breath of air. And as they did, wow, look what happened. The mitten burst apart and spilled them all out onto the snow. Look, the mitten bursted. They all are out of the mitten. Who's this? This is the bear, yes. And who's this? This is the fox. And who's this right over here? This is the rabbit. And what about this one? little tiny one. It's the mouse. And this one is the squirrel. Look at that. What a shame, said the bear. What a shame, said the fox. What a sh shame, 
said the rabbit. What a shame, said the squirrel. Oh, it is, said the little mouse. A terrible, terrible shame. Look, they're all looking at the little mitten that burst it. Here's the little squirrel. He said, what a shame. The fox said, what a shame. The bear said, what a shame. The rabbit said, what a shame. And the little teeny mouse said, oh, it is terrible, terrible shame. Then one by one, the mouse, the bear, the fox, the rabbit, and the squirrel all went off to find another place to warm their toes. In the morning, the little boy and his grandmother went out looking for the lost mitten. Soon, they came upon the bits and pieces of yarn lying on the snow. Here it is, the yarn. What could have happened? asked the little boy. I have no idea, said the grandmother. But don't worry, I can knit another. She's going to knit him another one. And because she loved him, that's exactly what she did. Here's the grandma knitting the mitten for the little boy, her grandchild. And look, he's playing with the yarn and he has a little cat right there. Cat. And end of the story. Did you enjoy the little mitten? I mean the mitten? Yes. It was a wonderful story. It had all these different animals. The bear, the squirrel, the mouse, the fox. Did you like it? And it had a rabbit too. It all had a, it were, it had all these different animals and they loved being in the mitten, warm and cozy. Do you like being, do you like to wear your mittens to keep your hands warm and cozy? Yeah? Yes. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm so glad that you enjoyed the story. I will see you next time. Here's a big kiss from me to you. And take care. Bye-bye.